All right, YouTube. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, talking Auburn football. I'm a little late to the party as far as recruiting goes, but I hope you guys can forgive me. Had an extra busy day yesterday, but now we're back on the scene. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn, and also become a member of the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger war eagle many of you all saw what i saw yesterday is a paradigm shift in recruiting for the auburn tigers many of us could even say that you know prior to hugh freeze it was looking a little grim for the auburn tigers but things have changed uh for the tigers as a matter of fact Auburn has been listed as one of the winners in the recruiting class of this year. As you can see in the picture that I've shown uh, on this video. But look, you know, you, you talk about a situation where Auburn was down in the dumps. Look, looked like things were getting real grim for the Tigers. But Auburn has made a huge recovery, especially at the offensive line position. Because you look at a situation where Auburn just hasn't, I mean, the result on the field and looking at the recruiting classes just didn't look good at the offensive line position. So, I mean, you got a situation where you have Clay Whitten out of Tampa, Florida, a .89 recruit at the offensive line position. You got Braden Joyner that has joined the Tigers. And, you know, it, it's just getting a lot better for the Tigers from a recruiting standpoint. And a lot of you all probably wonder why. Well, Hugh Freeze and his staff form, you know, very familiar with the SEC, very familiar with coaching as far as a high school standpoint to where, you know, hey, you, you've already built these relationships even while he was at Liberty. And, I mean, it's, it's just looking a lot better. Now, here's the bad news for the Tigers. We're going to get to the good news in a minute. But here's the bad news for the Tigers. Number one, Jeremiah Cobb did not commit. Well, he didn't sign during his class. It looks like who, whomever he signs with will be in February when the um, actual sign of the National Signing Day starts. That's the one we got to look for. All right, so it looks like uh, Jeremiah Cobb did obviously did not um, sign. He's still considered a hard commit with a cool interest in Georgia. I, I really want you all to look out for this because, you know, Jeremiah Cobb to Georgia might be a thing, but in the meantime, Auburn did a great deal in um, this recruiting class. You know, you talk about um, Stephen Johnson out of Whitewater. Now, now Stephen Johnson out of Whitewater, maybe a eighty-four percent commit. But, you know, a lot of times these guys turn out to be a little bit better than what their commitment turns out to be. And uh, Auburn right now at number 20 overall recruiting ranking. Keldrick Falk as the number one right now out of Highland Home, Alabama. You know, the great thing about this is the fact that Auburn has not done a great job as far as 
recruiting in Alabama up to this point. And you think about Keldrick Falk, you think about Sylvester Smith. And uh, I think Auburn has done themselves some due diligence in this class. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.